crew comes back and they come through the line, they get a hot, delicious meal. Um, how they appreciate that, and that's what keeps that's what keeps me and my crew uh, moving forward. Food sure makes it all the better for all of us. But have you ever wondered where do Navy sailors on long deployment get their food in the middle of the ocean? Or how is food prepared 500 feet below the sea surface? Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. On today's feature, we will uncover the process of getting the food to the U.S. Navy vessels on deployment and the kitchen maestros that cook up a storm for the men and women of the U.S. Navy. The maritime superpower of the United States is unrivaled. Its presence in the global maritime provides security in international trade. Its heavily armed warships travel on and under the sea surface, with thousands of dedicated men and women that make up the naval force. The nuclear-powered aircraft carriers and submarines of the U.S. Navy can go for months on deployment without docking. So how do they get food in the middle of the ocean? The Navy has more than 8,500 culinary specialists working in over 300 locations in the U.S. and around the world. The meticulous planning and calculation started months before the deployment. The choice of food and suppliers are vetted to ensure the sailors are provided with high-quality, nutritious foods. The Navy is supported by the U.S. Army Veterinary Service to carry out food inspections and coordinate with suppliers. A little known fact about the veterinary corps profession is that as veterinarians, we are out inspecting any food that is supplied to the Department of Defense. The approved food is then color-coded and sodium-coated with food label cards. The menu needs to be planned and approved by dietitians registered with U.S. Naval Supply Systems Command. Pre-deployment, the ships are loaded with fuel and sustenance for its residents. Four crew members play an essential role during delivery. The food service officer, the leading culinary specialists, the record keeper, and the bulk storeroom custodian inspect and record the materials delivered. Depending on the scale of the vessel, the culinary specialist may need to prepare food for up to 5,500 crew members. That is the case for the culinary specialists working on the floating city of the sea, the aircraft carriers of the U.S. Navy. About 17,300 meals are prepared daily for the crew that works around the clock. On a daily basis, the kitchen goes through 1,600 pounds of chicken, 160 gallons of milk, 30 cases of cereal, and 350 pounds of lettuce. There's the occasional downtime, where the crew gets to loosen up and enjoy a little barbecue on the flight deck when it's not in operation. 
So what happens when the food runs out? They get delivered with new supplies in a process called underway replenishment. This can be done in two ways, either the connected or the vertical replenishment method. For the connected method, the supply and receiving vessels cruise parallel to each other at the same speed and course within a safe separation gap. A special stream rig connects the two ships that are used to transfer food supplies and fuel for the operating assets on the carrier. On average, the aircraft carrier is delivered with up to 1 million pounds of food every 7 to 10 days. Vertical replenishment is a safer but limited method of transfer. A helicopter shuttles between the two vessels to supply the replenishment, allowing them to operate at a greater separation distance. This is a preferred choice to replenish the submarines that resurface to be replenished. For six-month deployment, about $260,000 is spent on their food that involves five replenishments. Their supply is airdropped by transport aircraft that delivers enough supply to last about 90 days. Space is a premium in the submarine, so all packaging cartons are removed beforehand. The submarine carries typically about 15,000 pounds of food, and it is stored at any available space, beneath the seats, behind pipes, under decks. The meals are prepared in a 10 by 14 foot galley, equipped with all the high-tech gadgets to feed the 130 crew working on board. Between six to eight culinary specialists take turns to prepare meals for the crew on board that works around the clock. Since there is no window, there is no telling when it is time for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So the menu is rotated every few weeks. The mess deck has narrow tables, and it is a tight squeeze for the 34 crew it can accommodate at a time. So food is served buffet-style, so the crew can eat as much as they want in 15 minutes before the next group comes in for their meal. There is not much luxury, privacy, or comfort living inside a 360-foot long and 33-foot wide vessel. So food has a significant morale impact on the submariners. Mealtime is a time for them to socialize and enjoy freshly made hot meals, which can at times make them feel at home. Not just to them, but to every man and woman that serves the U.S. Navy in long deployment worldwide. Regardless of the scale of the vessels or kitchen they operate in, what they lack in size or resources, they made it up with creativity and culinary skills and overcoming obstacles. After all, the food doesn't just fuel the energy, but it is a morale booster for the sailors of the naval force.
That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.